hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in ASP.NET Core MVC without using entity framework how to join two tables into a single table and here we got the final output notice the header tags join multiple tables into a single table in ASP.NET Core 3.0 MVC without using entity framework the column names country name and state name the country name column is from the country table this is a country table the C name is a country name column and state name from the state table and this is a state name from the state table and these two columns are from two different tables we have joined into a single table that's it if you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new ASP.NET Core Web application. Go to File, New, Project. From the projects, I am selecting ASP.NET Core Web application. Click Next. Let's give the project name. join tables MVC core without entity framework is a project name click create and I'm selecting the model view control web application and the ASP.NET core the version I'm using 3.0 click create And the project is created successfully. Let's close this default window. Let's open Solution Explorer. First in this project, I'm adding a new class in this models folder. Right click the models folder. Add class. And the class name is join tables is a class name. And here we got our class join tables. Now in this class, I'm declaring the properties prop double tab. Now here the property, the integer type, the property name we have to add the country CID and picture. Let's add the namespace here using system dot component model dot data initials. We have to add the key method name key. And now second property prop double tab which is a string type the property name is I'm adding the C name, the column name. And again, next property, prop double tap, string type. And the property name I'm adding from the state table, S name. Copy this one and paste here. If you notice in this join table class, I have added only three properties the CID column name and C name and S name. I want to display the records the C name and S name column names into a single table. So after that, open Solution Explorer. We'll add a new controller in this controllers folder. Right click the controllers folder, add controller. And I'm selecting MVC controller empty, click add. And the controller name is tables join is my controller name add. And here we got our controller tables join. Now first in this controller, I'm adding the namespace using uh, Microsoft dot data the next namespace using Microsoft 
dot data dot SQL client and the last namespace I'm adding the model namespace using my project name dot models folder after adding these three namespaces now in this controller after the index method I'm creating a new static method public static the static I'm adding the list class in the list I'm adding the type of elements in the list we are getting from this join tables class so let's add the join tables class and uh, the function name is tables tables columns display is a method name uh, join tables uh, first I'm adding the list list class in this list class I'm adding the join tables let's create the object JT is equals to uh, list new list new list join tables then let's add the data source string connection is equals to between double quotes let's add the data source of our database open server explorer right click the data connections add connection the server name is user pc sql express after adding sql server name now i'm selecting the database name The both tables country and state have created in this sample db so let's select the sample db let's check if here the sample db database so after that test connection okay okay and here we got the sample db dot db well now we require the data source of this sample db right click the sample db dot db well, go to properties and the properties we have a connection string which contains the data source copy that one and paste between these double quotes semicolon let's add the backward slash here mm, after that using let's add the connection string sql connection sql con object is equals to new sql connection in this sql connection i'm adding this string variable name connection using sql command sql com is equals to new sql command in this sql command i'm writing the statement to join tables so between double quotes select uh, I'm adding the table name country dot from the country table uh, I want to join the C name column from the country table C name let's add that one comma and the second table name is a state S name from country full join state on the country dot CID is equals to state dot CID. Here the S is capital. Here the join statement is from the country and state table. I'm fetching the column name C name and S name. With the help of the column name CID. Now, after adding the join statement, next uh, using SQL adapter, SQL data adapter, SDA is equal to new SQL data adapter. Uh, I'm adding SQL com dot connection object is equals to the connection we are getting from this SQL connection object which is the SQL com 
then let's open the connection string open method and uh, as you dot select command is equal to the select command we are getting from this SQL command the query we are getting from this SQL command now after that I'm adding after that I'm adding SQL data reader SDR is equals to SQL com dot execute reader method and then after execute the readers, I want to read the data. For that, I'm using while loop while sgr dot read method. And then now in this while loop, first I'm creating an object for this join tables class. Join tables jt object object is equals to new join tables. Now jt object dot c name uh, sdr dot sdr will be double quotes I'm adding c name the column name dot to string method jd object dot s name is equals to sdr s name copy this one and paste here dot to string method now let's add this jt object join tables object into this list join table object so jt dot add method In this add method I'm adding jt object this join table objects I'm adding in this jt then in the return view return and jt this one that's it we have written the code to join tables in asp.net code and we say now uh, in the index view page in the index method I'm adding view data in double quotes I'm adding the results is equals to just call this call method name here semicolon that's it we have called the method name in this action result index now to view the results on the browser we require the index view page but before adding the view page to our project we must build the application first build build solution and here we got a message build succeeded let's close this output message box now select the index method right click the mouse add view the view name is index and the template I'm not selecting any template just empty without model click add and here we got our index view page now first in this index view page I'm adding um, at using my project name is joint tables then let's call the view data here at I enumerable in this I enumerable, I'm adding the class name, the type of the type of objects I'm getting from the join tables class. Um, let's create the object um, display data is equals to view data. Copy this one as I enumerable join tables semicolon now let's change the heading here join multiple tables into single table h3 
HP.NET Core 3.0 MVC without using Entity Framework then I'm adding the horizontal line after the headings let's add the table the table class I'm adding um, the bootstrap class is a table is a bootstrap class name tr then table headers the first column name is a country name and the second table headers is a city name state name sorry after that to bind the data i am using for each loop at for each variable item in i am adding this i enumerable object here then dr td at item dot so here we got the properties here c name then the next table data i am adding item dot s name which is a state name that's it we have done the complete coding part to join multiple tables into this single table using asp.net core 3.0 in mvc without using entity framework now before run this application the most important we have to change the controller name to change the controller name open solution explorer notice in the project there is a startup.cs file open that one in the startup.cs file come to the bottom here the controller name notice the home just delete the default one home controller and our controller is a tables join this is our controller name copy that the controller name and add here and the action view page is the index only which is this index view page that's it now it's time to check the results browse with I'm selecting Google Chrome default set as default browse and here we got the final output Notice the header tags join multiple tables into a single table in ASP.NET Core 3.0 MVC without using Entity Framework. The column names, country name and state name. The country name column is from the country table. This is a country table. The C name is a country name column. And state name from the state table. This is a state name from the state table and these two columns are from two different tables we have joined into a single table that's it